we know that uh, cpu is faster compared to main memory and as main memory is faster compared to secondary memory the hard disk but then uh, main memory is not as fast as cpu so see this assume that we have cpu hmm? and consider the architecture where cpu wants to read something and uh, if, if cpu has to you know execute something it has to read something from main memory and then execute it then the speed of the cpu is obviously limited by the speed of the main memory you know in in some sense you could say like this in order to execute an instruction cpu might take i'm just assuming this okay in order to execute an instruction cpu might take 10 power minus 12 second okay but the instructions are present in main memory right so now instructions you know in order to fetch something from main memory uh, in order to read something from main memory it might take 10 power minus 9 seconds right and maybe there is a hard disk the secondary memory sorry following it so cpu you know are uh, able to execute very fast but then main memory will not be able to give the uh, cpu instructions at that rate then what happens the speed of the cpu will obviously fall down to the speed of the main memory now why is this delay because in order to get a word from uh, main memory we have to go on to the bus there is something called as bus we shall see it later but anyway then we have to go on to the bus that is set of wires and then get something from this right so in order to avoid this what we generally do is we use some uh, you know speed memory devices or speed memory storages so one such storage is resistors so on the chip itself on the chip in which cpu is present if we have the resistors now these resistors since they are present along with the cpu on the same chip they will be very fast compared to the main memory and in case if the instruction is prefetched prefetched means before executing itself if the instruction is present if the instruction is present in this resistors then cpu can get it fast and execute it faster right so that this, this solution is fine it works but the problem is uh, register size is too small in the sense register will not be registers will not be able to hold the entire program they will be able to hold only few instructions because they are costly right and then there is a trade-off then what we did is then many people the uh, designers they invented this new device called as cache so cache is a high speed memory which is not as costly as the registers but it is faster compared to main memory so cost wise it is cheaper fast wise it is better right therefore therefore you know uh, if we have something you know if we have a program at least a part of it a pro a, the process which is present in the main memory if at least a part of it is present in uh, cache then cpu will be able to get the instructions fast and execute it faster right so now if you if you watch it we are not just using one level of memory we are having various levels of memories right so cpu is having registers that is level 1 and then cache level 2 and then c and then you know main memory and then secondary memory you know like this you can have any number of levels sometimes what people do is they even have one more level of cache right so that cache will be cheaper compared to this cache but uh, it will be slower compared to this cache which means you can have level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 any levels of hierarchy right by using this hierarchy what is the advantage we get is the overall system cost will not be as high as the uh, maximum cost memory element it is actually normalized right and if you want to understand it in uh, other way like see this a process will be present in the secondary memory that is called virtual memory concept and now a part of the secondary memory process will be present in main memory let us say we are using paging got it and now a part of the page will be now present in the cache right and a part of the cache will now be present in registers right so cpu if it wants anything it will first look into registers if it is not present look into the cache if it is not present look into the paging and if it is not present look into the secondary memory right and now uh, if the if the required element is present directly in the cache okay let's forget about registers because the time taken to look into the registers and get something in the register is negligible so let's not talk about registers let's say we have three levels of memories first level is cache 
second level is paging i mean the main memory and the third level is secondary memory right so whenever we look into the cache and we are able to find out i mean if we are able to uh, see that whatever we require is present in the cache that is called as cache hit cache hit so cache hit is if the required uh, element is present in the cache that is called cache hit and the time taken to find out whether it is present in the cache or not that is called as hit latency hit latency is time taken to find out whether you know uh, whether the required element is present in the cache or not in case if the required element is not either it could be instruction or data if the required element is not present in the cache it is called as cache miss cache miss means the required element is not there and now in order to get the required element we have to go to the main memory and then fetch it and then read it right and that is called as miss latency the time taken to get something from the main memory and then place it into the uh, service this uh, cache and then get it right so hit latency is hit you know cache hit depends on various factors and cache miss also depends on various factors okay so what is cache hit and cache miss is whenever we refer to something uh, you know whether it is going to be present in the cache or it is not going to be present and that particular thing depends on various uh, factors one factor is okay we shall see all the factors later right and next thing is if the required thing if whatever you are looking for the element if it is present in main memory right uh, that is called as you know hit in case if it is not present in main memory that is called as page fault isn't it so there also we had something called as page hit and page fault right so how do we find out whether what is the page hit whether it is a page hit or page fault we have something called as you know page tables so using page tables we are able to find out whether the required element is present here or not but then how can we find out whether the required element is present in cache or not for that reason exactly the same column exactly like you know how we use the paging concept and then the page table we are going to use here something called as tag directory tag 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 directory you can somehow compare it to the page table of the paging i mean uh, there is difference but then uh, you know uh, um, semantically they are same in the sense page table says whether whether a required page is present in the main memory or not similarly the tag directory says whether the required uh, element right I'll, i'll tell you the terminology slower slowly later uh, this tag directory says whether the required element is present in the tag or not right so you know before you access the main memory you are accessing the page table right similarly before you access the cache we have to access the tags once we look in the tags and find out that the element is present then we are going to get into the tag and and take that element got it okay and now uh, in this case you know uh, page whenever there is a page fault we are going to do something called as uh, you know service that is called as page fault service time what is page fault service get the page from the secondary memory and then load it here got it so if you want your uh, you know access to be very very fast i mean your cpu to run very fast see that see that whatever you are looking for is going to be present in the uh, high speed memory that is level 1 in case if there is a miss see that it is at least present here in case if it is a miss here then your program is going to be as slow as you know this uh, this secondary memory got it so finally our aim is to see that uh, we have to get the information into the highest you know high speed memory and store it there and then we should be able to access it and in case if it is not there we should be able to go to the next level and get it so the entire cache memory the entire purpose is to reduce the cost of the system because we cannot directly based on registers right that is why it is reducing the cost as well as increasing the speed of the cpu better than the main memory which means without cache whatever was the speed if we introduce uh, cache even though cost is going to increase but the speed is also going to increase right and now we had we had to talk about various things here how are you going to uh, see one thing is for sure always cache memory size is going to be less than the main memory size 
then various factors will come into picture if you have if you have the capacity to load only a part of main memory which part are you going to give priority to isn't it then there is something called as locality of reference locality of reference says that there are two types of locality of reference one is called as uh, spatial locality and other is called as temporal lo locality spatial locality says that whenever you are looking for any uh, you know element the chances are that that particular element will be present in a close proximity around the uh, one which we have previously referred which means in a program let us say you have a program like this many lines and now if you are referring to particular element there is a chance that this element will be in a close proximity to earlier reference right or in case if you are referring to some element here then the chances are that next time the next reference will be close to this reference that is called as spatial uh, spatial locality and other is called as temporal temporal says that uh, no uh, least recently used element is going to be used again that is why in the page replacement the most frequently used algorithm is least uh, least recently used so lru actually takes care of temporal locality temporal locality means in time whatever was uh, you know latest uh, referred the last referred last recently used then that is going to be used again that says you uh, know that is temporal so lru the algorithm lru takes care of temporal locality and the uh, you know block having block sizes or page sizes these pages i think you understood why we always see whenever there is a page fault i think you you, you remember this whenever there is a there is a page fault we are not just going to get that particular word which is required inside the page even though only one word is required inside the page we are actually fetching the entire page from the secondary memory why are we doing this because we want to even follow that law of spatial locality spatial locality of reference spatial locality of reference says that if you are referring to a word particular word then the chances are that next time you will refer to some word around it that is what spatial locality says and temporal locality says that if you are referring you know uh, the chances next time the chances are greater that the law the least frequently the least recently used word is going to be used that is why lru will take care of temporal locality and block size will take care of spatial locality got it so that is why we we generally load in blocks even though one word is required we generally don't uh, load only one word right so now what happens as you increase the you know uh, size of the block you are increasing the you know you are following more the law of uh, spatial locality right okay fine we shall see see this topic again in another topic i'll i'll just leave it to other day but then now we shall focus on some other topics here uh, the main focus will be uh, on this topic which how are you going to get the uh, you know part of the main memory into the cache and how are you going to keep track of what is present in the cache and next whenever we whenever the cache is full which one are you going to replace so that you can get the new part so this is what my focus is so if you can answer all these questions then caching is over right so entire caching is containing no main questions on caching will contain numerical questions we shall see all the models okay and now uh, i seriously I, i recommend that you know it is not a compulsory thing but then if you are watching it i really uh, recommend that you please watch the pacing section of operating systems and then come back you will understand it better okay but then it is not absolutely needed but i i really suggest that you do it okay otherwise you can continue with this also if you are interested in caching first yes you can continue with this but then you please visit if you have time you please visit operating systems uh, paging and then come here okay because it will make something easy especially the numericals easy and calculations will be easy for you fine